guys welcome back to another video this is the setup of the linksys re 4000w and you want to make sure you have a few things you want to have your power cable your actual repeater and the setup installation disc that comes with it and before you want to do anything you want to make sure you actually read the cd well the outside of the cd case right there where it says run cd first you want to make sure you actually do that before you plug in the router I don't really know why, but I'm just going to follow the directions as they list them out to me. So after you put in your CD, you're going to get this window that pops up and what you want to do is just check that you have read and accept the terms and license agreement and everything like that, that, you know, me and you didn't read, but you know, let's just keep that a secret. Okay, so after a few seconds, you're going to get this new window that asks you to plug in your repeater and wait until the light is solid and it's not blinking anymore. Okay, so once the light stops blinking, you now want to go back into your setup and click next. So after you click next, you want to wait a little while as the program does some kajiggering with your extender in the background. After about two, three minutes, you're then going to be asked to select your wireless network that you want the repeater to actually repeat. And I have two networks that I'm going to be repeating, which is the Cisco and Cisco 5G. Okay, so after you set up your first network and it connects to that, it's then going to move you to set up your second wireless network. And at first glance, you may not see your second network that you want to connect to. All you got to do is just click that refresh button in the top right hand corner there. And then you should see the next network you want to connect to if it's not already there. So after you've connected to both networks that you want to repeat, the setup program now is going to do some major kajiggering in the background to properly set up your extender. And then after that, everything should be good to go. So after a few minutes, you're then going to be prompted to move your extender to the proper location you actually want it to be repeating that generally is somewhere mid between where you want the signal to go and where the signal is coming from. All you got to do now is just unplug the extender and attach the wall adapter to it and go find a happy medium between your router and where you are generally going to be accessing it from. Okay, so the happy medium for me at least would be just outside of my room in front of the front door hallway next to the kitchen because my router actually is on the other side of the kitchen uh, right by the television. Okay, so after you've found your happy medium and everything with your extender, go to your network or internet settings, depending on what operating system you're running, and check to see whether or not your signal has been improved or it, it has stayed the same. If it has stayed the same, try choosing another spot to put your extender and see if that improves anything. But um, just by going in here into my Wi-Fi signal here, you can see that I have about three, four-ish bars, there's a little shade here, and it's about the same thing on my 2.4 gigahertz band here. Now before I had the extender, it was about one to two bars, and you can see just how significant the extender actually helped get me better signal strength when it comes to my room on the other side of the house. So that's been it guys, uh, hopefully this tutorial setup and installation video helped you understand how to properly set up the Linksys RE4000W and if you enjoyed this video please let me know by hitting that like button down below and leave a comment and let me know whether or not you like these type of videos and if I should make more of them. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.